My god, what happened to DeviantArt? I used to go to DeviantArt to browse through a lot of amazing art pieces made by countless artists from around the world. But that was... a long time ago. Now if you're looking for some quality art pieces on DeviantArt today, you will have to shuffle through countless garbage and weird fetishes in order to find an amazing art piece based on what you're searching for. And this is the reason why I'm creating a new additional segment to my channel. There are some amazing art pieces based on franchises we love, created by some really impressive artists. And it's quite difficult trying to find these gems with all the garbage and weird fetishes constantly being piled on top. So, seeing as there are a lot of hidden gems on this site, I think it's time to shine some light on those DeviantArt gems. And for this video, we'll be taking a look at 5 awesome art pieces based on Mortal Kombat. So let's begin. Paris Alley, the Mortal Kombat Tribute. Paris tends to work on a lot of Spider-Man related art, which ain't bad, but I'd love to see more Mortal Kombat gems like this. I can see this becoming a poster framed on my wall sometime in the future. But what makes this art piece phenomenal is that it shows us both sides, good and evil, and it's being split by Raiden's lightning. How badass is that? I love how the colors pop as well, making every character stand out with their respective colors, each wearing their iconic costumes as well as being a specific costume worn in a different game. Quan Chi and Shang Tsung appear in their Deadly Alliance costumes, Sub-Zero looks like he's wearing his MK4 costume. Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, and Raiden's appearance look like their MK9 costumes, and Sonya is surprisingly in her MK vs DC Universe outfit. In the description of this MK art piece, Paris mentions that this piece was entered in a contest for a DeviantArt group called Battle Artist. I'm not sure if this art piece was the winner, but whether it was or not, it sure as hell turned out to look like a masterpiece. SW Art, Mortal Kombat 2. This artist came up with multiple gems based on Mortal Kombat such as this one which includes many combatants in a single image. Doing this can be complicated and according to the artist, this took him about 4 years to fully complete. The rest of his MKR is just as good, but this one based on Mortal Kombat 2 is too damn good. Even the secret characters are included here. It's tough when it comes to coloring with markers, I've done it a few times before and it's even harder than it looks, especially if you want to get these results without leaving those dark marker shades. SW Art has a fine collection of art pieces. If you like his art style, I highly recommend you guys check his page out. Light Source, Mortal Kombat 2 HD. This is one of the coolest art pieces I've ever seen someone do. Not just because it's based on the classic Mortal Kombat 2, but because it's a highly detailed recreation of what a 90s game with digitized actors would look like in today's graphics. This is what Light Source had to say after working on this gem. I always thought it would be really interesting to see a remake of the two first MK games done in a higher quality, but still using digitized actors just like in the old games. I think that real life photos gave the characters and the game a unique look and feel that has not been matched today with the games in 3D. He also mentions that he used images from behind the scenes of Mortal Kombat 2 to make the basic setup of both combatants. He recreated all the elements of the scenery with newer textures and new resolution, including newer details on each character's wardrobe to give it a more modern and complex look. Honestly, this is better than what I had in mind when I heard about the remake of the MK Classics. Sadly that was cancelled, but I don't think it would look as impressive as this. But if it were to ever get a second chance at a remake of the classic MK titles, they better contact Light Source to give us results like these. Jagodata, Mortal Kombat Mythologies, Serena. This artist has some deep visions. See, this is the beauty about passionate artists. Only one person on this earth can come up with this. It is beyond fantastic. This art piece of Serena isn't the only gem in his collection. He has made even more breathtaking art pieces based on Mortal Kombat. They're just as good as the Serena art piece, but aside from Serena being an underrated character, I love how those hooks pierce through glass, making it the perfect poster to frame. And just like Paris's art, the colors are vibrant, something I'd like to see in a new MK game as the latest two appear to have a dark and brown texture. Be sure to check out Jagodata's collection as you will never find another artist like this. Brit Brack Down, Mortal Kombat Fatality. This one is brutal as hell, but it perfectly represents what Mortal Kombat is all about. With what we see here, one could only imagine how the battle went down. I like that it's not a good guy versus a bad guy here. I like that the background shows how the battle went down. 
both fighters are bruised up. Sub-Zero is using an ice blade to slice her stomach open, which is very graphic. And also, if you look at the intestines on the floor, there's a yellow liquid pouring out of one of the intestines, which is super gross, but that's Mortal Kombat material. I'd say this gem is based on Mortal Kombat Unchained since Sub-Zero is wearing his Deception costume, but Kitana was only featured in the PSP version of Deception, which was known as Mortal Kombat Unchained. I love that game, we need more art based on MK Deception or Unchained. And thanks Brick Breakdown for creating this art piece. Same goes for everyone who was included in this list. I'm sure there are other gems based on Mortal Kombat that I still haven't discovered yet on DeviantArt, but I will be categorizing them such as an art piece based on a specific combatant. I will also be doing more videos like this based on other franchises, so let me know which ones you'd like to see next. Be sure to check out the links to these awesome artists on the description. And with that said, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you'd like to see extra videos, have early access to upcoming videos, and you'd like to vote on what you'd want to see next, or you simply just want to see your name at the end of the videos, then feel free to support the channel by donating a single dollar to my Patreon. The link is on the description along with the link to my Facebook page, DeviantArt, and Twitter. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.